All right, welcome back to the studio. Remember, this stuff is, we're getting fancy here. This is, this is not for everybody. So let me preface this video by saying that. Uh, but this is what I'm chasing in my own personal garage. And I know that you know many of you have much nicer garages than I have. And so this is probably what you want if that's the case. Uh, and so this is the two channel package. Uh, and there are a hundred different configurations I could have done, uh, but I'm sharing with you and we're building in the Obsessed Garage store what I would do if I were you. Uh, and so even though we could do like a Blue Sound Node or, or we could do some other combinations of things, a C368 uh, with, our, with our Evokes, it will work. Uh, but this is what I would combine or what I would put together if I were in your shoes and I was thinking about buying this stuff. So Evoke 20s uh, is what I, that's what I had in my garage. I had the blonde version. These are both the walnut versions and they make them in gloss black, gloss white, blonde and walnut. The walnut finish is really nice. I think the blonde finish is best with the garage because it doesn't show dust or dirt or anything like that. It also has the best veneer. It looks like the most you know, high quality wood. Um, I would highly suggest you not do gloss black unless you're willing to work for it. If you have a black car, maybe you want gloss black, spe gloss black speakers, but you're gonna have to work for it to not scratch them all up. Because you know, speakers sitting on your workbench in your garage get a lot more dusty than they would in your house. So when you're building your package, I wanted to make this as simple as possible. Our packages are gonna include the cables that are needed to make it work. Uh, of course, if you need something custom, just email us, support at obsessedgarage.com. We'll get you what you need. Uh, but this is a pretty basic setup. Should work for 99% of applications. Uh, but you need, um, you need to pick the speakers first, uh, but we, you know, we're gonna include the cables. So first thing you'll choose is what speakers you want. Evoke 10s, Evoke 20s, and what color? So choose that in the drop down first. Next, you can choose your source. Uh, and by the way, go check out the Evoke video for all the details where I you know, spin the speakers around and play them and show you how, how they work and all that. This is more to get to the point of how the package should look. Uh, so speakers first, then pick your, your uh, source or your amplifier. In this case, these speakers are passive Right, see it has speaker binding posts on it. Uh, so you're gonna pick your, you, you, need, you need to pick an amplifier. We need the amplifier to power the speakers. And so there is no one else in this game, I think, that's as good for our application, especially in the garage, you can do this in your house as well. Um, but uh, but there, I don't think there's anybody that's even in the ballpark uh, with uh, PSB NAD. Uh, or I guess it would be my PSB, uh, Blue Sound NAD. That's what I'm thinking. P they own PSB as well. Uh, but NAD has got this game cornered. Now, I'm not going to show you it on this video. I'm going to do a bonus video at my house. Uh, so this package includes one of three sources. There will be a fourth that's coming out soon, which is really interesting as well. Uh, so it includes the M33, which is a $5,500 monster <laughs> amplifier. That's what I was running my evokes on, um, but I get that's that's not for everybody. Then the next step down would be this really awesome form factor. Make sure to go check out the M10 video uh, to see the display. It's a touchscreen, fully digital. Um, I think it's LCD. I think it's an LCD display. I don't think it's OLED. Uh, regardless, it's fantastic to see like the cover art from Spotify or Tidal on the front of the, uh, of the device. Your volume control is here as well. Uh, but M10 would be our second option. Below the M10 will be one that's coming out soon, which I don't have a demo yet. I'll do a video on that, is the C399. So the C399 shares a lot of the same architecture as the M33, uh, but with a little less, you know, a little less fancy. It doesn't have an aluminum case. It, it looks just like the C388. And then the the the, the, the go-to, I think, for most of us, if you're gonna buy some Evoke 20s, I think the perfect pairing is this C388 right here, which is uh, 2,200-ish dollars for your $2,200 speaker. So you're, you know, 4,500 bucks for a pair. You're gonna want a subwoofer as well eventually. Um, but remember, this is the ultimate solution. This isn't the, uh, this isn't the base solution. We have some much more realistic combinations or, or, or economical combinations uh, as well. But this is, again, this is what I'm, what I'm chasing. You can see I'm talking faster. That's how you know I'm more, more excited. 
So C388, all of which have tons of power um, to power either 10s or 20s. Uh, choosing 10s or 20s, pick the 20 if you can swing the extra 700 bucks. Um, pick the 10s if you can't. Uh, but the combination of the C388 with either one of these is magical. If you go to M10, this is just beautiful. Like, so if you have a small place or you have somewhere on top of your cabinet or on your shelf somewhere in the garage, you want to display something that looks beautiful, choose the M10. If you just have deep pockets or you really love audio, buy the M33. The M33 is insane. It's, it's incredible. Again, it's what I have in my garage in my house. So the 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 choosing of one of these it just comes down to money you know how much money you got how much you're willing to spend on which one of these you're going to pick all of them are going to sound rather similar um, just they'll have a little more output so you get a little bit more snap in the mid-range a little more clarity in the upper registry a little more bottom end as you increase power but the magic of all these nad sources or or i guess digital analog converting um, 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 components or source component the magic of these is they're all class D amplification and class D amplification runs a lot cooler, is a lot more efficient, uh, you won't have overeating issues in your garage uh, and shoot if you plug a network cable into one of these you don't even have to worry about uh, getting Wi-Fi and if you have like a metal cabinet with the doors closed. I run my M33 with the metal doors closed in the garage all the time and um, and I've got a direct network connection to it so I don't have any Wi-Fi issues and it, it sounds absolutely fantastic. Uh, and so you're going to pick your speaker, then you're going to pick your source component, and the magic of these, super simple. I'm going to show you this, how to set this up. By the way, evokes work well on a Blue Sound Power node, so I know I don't have that in the package because it's not necessarily my recommendation, but if we wanted to keep costs down and we wanted to keep the form factor small, you can do the Power node, you can do the C368, um, so you can just hit us up and we can custom design you, or just use the, the option list here, look in the description of this, and then you can go buy those, the components a la carte if you wanted to. I don't play any games here, um, I just take the price of each one of these components and add them up and then that's the package price so you're not saving anything uh, it doesn't make any sense to me I'm gonna do a lot more work to figure this out and ship it out to you shipping costs more all that stuff and uh, I need more boxes and all that so to just kind of package doesn't make a lot of sense to me so, but what I'm hoping you do in honoring the source of this is that um, you know we're selling these at the normal retail price and I'm hoping to provide you with more resources and more information so um, um, but we can you know custom create this if you needed our help certainly hit us up so each one of these pretty simple you got speaker binding posts the magic of this setup and how you're how you're installing this is you plug it into the wall and then you plug in your speakers and you're done and, and then we're, we'll go into setup in a second here. I'm going to actually show you on a Blue Sound Node how to set up Blue OS. So these all use the same Blue OS software. And I have multiple NAD devices all throughout the garage and throughout my house, and it's all seamless. As soon as I walk into the room, um, the you know whether the system's in standby or not, um, the the um, the device is recognized from my phone, and I can just hit the button. It turns it on. I have instant on, instant volume control. I can I can hand shake back and forth. Uh, so if I had an M10 and a C388, like one in each room, um, I could play them both simultaneously. I can play one. I could, each one could play something different. It's really really fantastic. And I actually just got today. I just started to get the the custom install. They have multi zone, multi channel amplifiers as well with uh, using using the same blue os um, is is uh, it's it's incredible I, I didn't even it was a byproduct of me chasing nad um, but i'm telling you these guys are at the forefront of they sound fantastic they're super efficient and then they have blue os which they're they, they seem to push an update every other week that does something to improve improve the software and normally this kind of stuff is clunky and doesn't work well but it's i'm telling you blue os is fantastic so you buy the package, we're going to include 12, a 12-foot 12 speaker cable. It's a fancy cable, so this may not work for you. 
Um, so you may want to get some custom, like if you're doing a custom setup, um, like just depending on how your garage is set up. Um, I'm including these, but again, if you want to do something different, we can cut the length uh, custom install 12 gauge speaker wire. Uh, but the setup looks like this. I'm gonna plug my speaker wire in to, which one is this? Let's not say, is that left or right? Can't see. That's the right speaker. So I got myself backwards here. This is the right speaker. So I'm gonna plug it in to the back of the speaker. Take your pick. You can always choose the bigger woofer if you can. I think the ultimate solution would be to do, you know, Evoke 20s in blonde wood with either a C388 or an M10, or again, if you've got deep pockets, the, the big boy. I think the sweet spot in here is gonna be the C399, which is gonna be like 25, 2600 bucks. That one has room correction. Uh, so that's something I should mention. Uh, the C388 does not have Dirac, does not have room calibration software. The M10, the M33, and the new C399 will all have Dirac. So if you know your room's gonna be problematic, you wanna get the best out of it, um, the C388 is an amazing digital amplifier. I think it's, again, go check out the spec video. I think this one's 100 and, it's either 150, I think it's 150 watts per channel. The C399 is 185 watts, but it's Purify Elegante, um, or, or what does Elegante stand for? No, no, it's Eigentact, not Elegante, Eigentact. Um, it has um, Purify Eigentact, which is, what does that stand for? Always clocking or something like that in German. Um, so they have better, um, better DACs, better digital analog converting chips in the C399 as well as Dirac for 500 bucks more than the, than the C388. Um, but this one doesn't have room calibration. The M10 V2 does, uh, and the, obviously the M33 does as well. Um, I will tell you that out of the box, I think that the, the C388 sounds the best um, of, the, of the three that I've heard. Um, this, the 399, I'm assuming, would be similar to the M10. Uh, these sound much better when you do the room calibration. But that's it. That's our setup. So let's segue in. Let me pull in some footage of me setting up a Blue Sound node. Let's do that. And then we'll come back and we'll talk about some add on options to our packages. Blue OS app I have right here on my phone. Blue OS. Makes a second to load because I haven't been using it. If I go home, boom, there it is. Now, I've already connected it, so it'll take another minute or so to connect, uh, but there's my node. Uh, from, a, from a tuning perspective, for, drop this from your vocabulary, bass and treble adjustments. You can do that on this unit uh, if you go to audio settings here, uh, but I would highly suggest you not mess with that. This is where you would go and turn your subwoofer on or off and, and adjust the crossover. So it does have a subwoofer crossover functionality. And again, you can adjust tone controls. You can adjust bass and treble. I would suggest you listen to the speakers as they were intended, as they were tuned. Maybe if your room's a little odd, maybe you dial the treble back a tick or two. Uh, but don't go in and freaking jack up bass and treble like an idiot. Uh, you're ruining your experience, so don't do that. But you do have a little bit of, of tone control functionality. That's really all you're going to use on this this thing is subwoofer, uh, and um, uh, you're not really going to mess with the output volume or anything like that. Uh, but then, once we're done here, let me close this. The thing I love about the Blue OS app is the is the playlist. The playlists are actually, I think, better. So you have all these mixes that will that that title creates that apparently are more difficult to find in the actual native title app. But the beauty is now when I'm playing, so when I'm playing, you know, Pussifer here, uh, and I'm playing it onto or through the node, it is native. So this is just a remote control. The actual playing and processing is done with the really sophisticated system on a chip processor, the ARM processor inside of the node. The node is then playing and it even tells me here, I don't know if you can see that, but see how there's an MQA right there, really tight 
on the screen. So I'm getting 24 bit, 192 kilohertz audio uh, on my node. Power node functionality is identical. Uh, the other beauty of this thing uh, is that I can connect, and why don't we do that? I'll show you. I can very easily connect two, three, four. I can connect up to 64 of these things in my house. Pull this a little closer. And have them all show up on screen, have them all play simultaneously, have them all connect and easily transition back and forth from one to the other. Let's give it a second to power up. I'm pretty sure I've used this one. Taking a second there, boom, boom, just like that in just a few seconds. So power node, node. So if I was playing, so right now, again, I don't have speakers connected, but right now I'm playing on the node. Uh, so if I go back here, this song is playing. Uh, and so if I wanted to, I could merge, get out of here. I could merge the power node, so I could add it. Oh, there it's telling me, do you want to do 13.6.2? Uh, 13, 13 so it's giving me the option to, to update the firmware. We'll do that later. And so I could, uh, I could either handshake by hitting the arrow here, and I could pass off my audio over to the power node. See, it switches from the other one to the next. Or I could merge them and play them both at the same time by hitting the plus and it creates a zone there. And I can do any combination I want of that with multiple players. And so let's say you had a power node in the garage with a pair of Dynaudio emits, and then you had a node uh, in your, I don't know, in your bathroom uh, or in your office connected to a pair of Zeos. Uh, and uh, you could play the both, both music identically. You could play um, each one individually. Uh, you have the ability to play multiple zones, different types of music all across, uh, all across your system. It's really pretty freaking amazing. Okay, so that's how you set it up. Um, the other options we have is, and which I would highly recommend, is subwoofer. So this, uh, I took the grills off, um, but this is the Dynaudio Sub 6. I'm telling you, I love the evokes, they're great. You know, these things are nice. Of all the things that I've discovered this year, uh, I guess last year, 2021, it's 2022 now, early 2022, this subwoofer is my favorite discovery of all things I've discovered in, you know, in the last, probably the last five years. I'm a sucker for subwoofers. I always have subwoofers all over the place. I'm going back to my car audio days in the, uh, in the early to late 90s, early 2000s. This sucker is, is a dual 9-inch woofer. It's not the loudest. It's not going to play the highest SPL. Uh, but the, the, the comp, the, the, I don't even know how to explain it, but the subwoofer just disappears into the room with virtually no setup. I don't do any calibrations or anything. Um, all I do on the subwoofer, there's there's the DSP platform or DSP software in here, or the the both the Evoke Tens, Evoke Twenties, Emits, um, all of the all of the Dyn Audio speakers are all programmed in. So they've spent the time in an anechoic chamber to create a DSP you know calibration platform or calibration. Um, um, whatever you want to call it, uh, the, the, the word is escaping me, but they've calibrated this to work seamlessly with a set of evokes. Uh, and now this is a $2,399, a $2,400 subwoofer. Um, the, the trick here is they make an 18S, which doesn't have grills. The 18S has the software for the studio monitors. Um, but this add-on, just I'm, I'm telling you, the combination you buy a C388 or a C399, a pair of Evoke 20s, a single, which is also super compact, sub six, and you have a magical listening experience in the garage. Um, even better, you get a C399 and run the, run the Dirac on it. Just absolutely incredible. Or, or the M10, if you love the, how, how, how pretty this thing is, get yourself an M10 and, and you have 
you just have a, a, a really fantastic experience. So the subwoofer will have two options. You can do wired or wireless. So when you choose the subwoofer drop down, and I only have one subwoofer option here. We're hoping to get SVS at some point. Uh, I'm also um, also partial to the Dynaudio Core Sub, so you could pair the Core Sub with this as well if you wanted tons of bass. The Core Sub is basically two of these stacked. The Core Sub's four thousand bucks, so it's a little less than double the cost of this. We have two options for setup. We can either do wireless, or we can do wired. Oh shoot wired and I like to run XLR to my subwoofer even though these don't have XLR out uh, and so if I was going to go wired this is really quite simple on all of these whether it's the 388 the M10 the three the uh, the M33 you plug into sub out right here so sub out mm -hmm. and I'm doing a a RCA to XLR connection which will if you choose the wired option we'll, we'll get the these will be the cables that will be included and then I've got a 25 foot RCA cable. Now it's a mono signal anyway and so you only need to connect to one side. It doesn't matter. So the, the reason why they have left and right is if you were going to run into the sub and then out of the sub and into, into some power pair of speakers you could use that and it will, it will cross it over. We're not doing that. Our crossover is done in our in our source component. And so speaker wire, subwoofer, done always prefer to wire it and the reason for that is the sub plays down to, to 16 hertz our wireless transmitter only transmits to 18 hertz so you'll be losing two hertz of bottom end which you can't hear anyways so i'm not sure why that matters uh, but it but it uh, but it does uh, and so if we're going to do this so this is an osd uh, osd audio wireless transmitter receiver which works quite well we go subwoofer out. This has two inputs. You also have to plug this in. So this needs to be um, you know, powered. So you need to take your little, you know, little AC to DC converter and plug it in. So that's plugged in. So that's the transmitter. And then I've got my receiver. I'm gonna do the same thing. Now the receiver, the receiver has a single output. And then just for simplicity, so we can have the same type of cables and make it easier for you to purchase. Uh, it really doesn't matter. Again, I'm not getting any performance boost by doing this. We're going to go right and left into the subwoofer, and we've got our wireless connection. And then this is really useful in the garage. I'm running these in my garage. Uh, even on the fancy system, I've got two sub sixes in my garage. Um, the um, the nice thing is then I can put my sub wherever I have a power outlet somewhere. And so, again, you have to plug the subwoofer in, and that's it. That's, that's full setup on this sucker. So I have full blue OS, high resolution, 24, 192 streaming capability. Um, I'm gonna play from 15 hertz up to 22,000 hertz. Uh, I'm going to have a really magical experience because the evokes are super smooth. They'll smooth out even more over time. Uh, and this is the ultimate you know, two channel setup. So the last logical question you'd have if you're buying into what I'm selling here, um, should I do two channel or should I do studio monitor? Because I'm always talking about how much I love the studio monitor option. If you're an audio file, you're an audio guy and you take time to listen to music and you like music and you have nice stuff in your house, um, choose this, go this route. A little more sophisticated, a little more complicated. Um, the other advantage of this route is that um, we can do a video add-on as well. So make sure to go check out our, our video add-on solutions. It won't be in the drop-down, um, but you can video add-on and do some, um, do some HDMI, you know, HDMI connections uh, and set it up to where you're bringing the audio return channel in from your TV. If you need multiple sources, the M10 is not your best option because there's no way to add a module to this. The C388, the C399, the M33 all have MDC capability. So this little thing here, you can add in a um, uh, HDMI module, which will have three in and one out. Um, and so if you wanted to run like a Blu-ray player and a, a Apple TV in your garage and then run a single HDMI out to your display, um, you can do that. Um, you may want to hit us up if you're starting to get into that. We'll, we'll make sure to do the create some video add-on packages and try to explain that as much as possible. Um, but the M10 
the M10, the power nodes, they don't do as well with that because it only has a single HDMI in. Uh, and so then you would need to connect everything to your TV and then run a connection back from your TV to your, to your source component here. Because we're not doing surround sound, Dolby Atmos and all that stuff, it doesn't really matter that much. Um, but the video add-on, go check out that package and I'll, I'll have some video add-on videos as, as well. Um, but I would choose, you know, you know, studio monitors have a distinct advantage in the garage because they're, so the cores, the LYDs, um, they have a distinct advantage because of their um, near field design. They're designed to be listened to closely. Uh, and it is a little bit simpler and they don't have this amplifier box that you have to put. You can get a little blue sound node, call it a day. Uh, and so, so the disadvantage to this is that you do have a larger source generally, um, depending on which option you choose in studio monitors. Um, but I have both and I'm having a hard time deciding which one to go with. Uh, and I think the way you choose is if you're an audio guy, choose this path. If you're a guy that you think you can enjoy, you, you think you'll enjoy audio, you love your garage, but you've never really done it before, choose the studio monitor option. It's just easier. It's an easier, simpler way to do it. Not a lot easier, but a little bit easier. So if you know what you're doing, buy this. If you don't, buy the studio monitors. I think that's it. Um, but, and again, I have cores. Uh, also, actually, let me say this, if you're looking for like massive output and lots of amplitude, let's do the Core 59s and a couple of subwoofers and let's do it that way. Um, but I, one thing you could do, just hit me up, matt at obsessedgarage.com, send me a couple of pictures of your garage, uh, and uh, I can help you make a decision on which I would choose if I were in your shoes on which way to go. Um, but I'm telling you, Evokes, Sub-6 pick one of these depending on how much money you're willing to spend and it'll freaking change your whole experience in the garage just make it absolutely magical it's incredible uh, the last thing i mentioned um they do these in black and white but this is the bracket that we'd use for the speaker now where it has you know adjustment up down left right um, but Dynaudio makes these brackets so these are also an accessory that's available depending on the color speaker you choose i'm sure most of you would choose black <laughs> I had already opened a white one up so we can show you what that looks like. But this stuff is, is freaking awesome, I'm, I'm telling you. You'll be like a kid in a candy store. You can buy yourself a Krenzel pressure washer, get yourself an M10, a pair of Evokes, and a, and a couple of sub sixes. And then, then you'll be buying a sub six for your office. You'll be buying a sub six for your home theater. Um, it, it's, it's that good. I've got, I've got four of them now. Let's see, I have a sub 18S in the yarn building. I've got a sub six in my home theater. I've got a, um, another sub 9S, which is I don't like as much, but it's great for a desk. I've got two 9S's, one at each office, office here, office there. Um, and I've got uh, the two sub sixes in the garage. It's freaking too much. So I'm holding on to those. If I ever get in trouble, you know, that'll be a thing I can liquidate to uh, get out of hawk with uh, whatever debt um, is, uh, is uh, sinking me. So anyway. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. Hit us up. Go to obsessedgarage.com for all your audio needs in the garage. And then, of course, you could apply this to the house as well. But uh, if you can't tell, I, I, I think this is my favorite series of products uh, other than maybe lighting that's coming. You know, I do love Milwaukee. I love the Sonic stuff. Um, obviously, all the detailing stuff is super cool. But audio pulls it all together. In fact, one of the suggestions uh, that a customer had, uh, he said, I need to get my audio system first before I even put my floor in. It, even if I just set it up on a little, you know, a little card table, it, it's, I'm gonna be playing music while I'm building my garage, while I'm installing my hose reels, while I'm building my cabinets. Uh, I'm gonna, even though my music won't be exactly where it's gonna end up, I'm buying the, the audio system first, so that way I can listen to something great while I'm, you know, while I'm, enjoying my experience in the garage. It really does change the whole dynamic. Yeah, I'm excited about this one. This, this will, for those of you who will be fortunate enough to do this, this will change your whole experience. I'm excited for that. I'm excited for you. And um, the only thing I'm not excited for is the amount of inventory carry this stuff costs. It's expensive. 
So if we don't have something, we will reserve your spot. And so let's say that I sold the one, because I'm not gonna stock 50 pairs of these, at least not yet. Uh, and we'll, we'll make sure we get them to you in a timely fashion, keep you up to date. If for some reason we're missing a color that you want, uh, it'll be worth the wait. This is a once in a lifetime purchase. So uh, we'll help make sure we get it to you as timely as possible. So thanks again, see you soon.